Talk to me about intergenerational trauma. You mentioned it earlier. Sure. Um, And I hope I do some level of justice to it. So my understanding is that things get passed down to us, like from the unconscious in our family lineages. So if things don't get processed by your parents, it kind of passes down to you in a sense. And so I want to, I want to preface intergenerational trauma alongside intergenerational resilience. So we embody both, but it's important to acknowledge that if you didn't have certain needs met when you were growing up, so this ties to our conversation about like neglect, because neglect is considered under CPTSD, which is like a complex post-traumatic, et cetera, et cetera. So if you have, if you have parental neglect and like care and things like that, you take on those qualities as ways of being with yourself and you continue to act it out as an adult in your life, Right. So that's why they say like reparenting is a really big act of therapy to kind of nourish yourself in the places where you may have had gaps or like lack or et cetera. Um, So for me, it's like, okay, I understand like with my mom, for example, she had emotional, like a lot of emotional blockages in terms of not being able to nurture us on a certain level. And I want to show up in my family lineage with more love (laughs) But these are, you know, wellness, love, wealth, happiness, all these qualities that are in the state of thrival. In order for you to kind of get to that energy, you have to address intergenerational trauma because we would continue to be carrying these baggages with us. Um, The gift we give our ancestry and lineage is by healing it within ourselves. And some people feel a little bit of sense of selfishness or like whatever around like doing inner work because they're like, oh, the world is on fire. I got to go save it. Yeah. But yeah. what, and that's what I thought I was studying international development for, because I was like, I'm going to save the world. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? You have this idea, but you're projecting the pain that you're feeling inside onto the, the world like, outside of yourself. Yeah. Um, so the way to heal, the way that I've understood to heal a lot of that is by uh, doing it within myself. So as I self nurture, as I self love, I know that that's being passed down because my mother didn't have certain tools to pass down to me. She gave me the bare minimum of survival which wasn't just minimum. It was a lot based on what she was able to give me, right? Like when you look back into like what they did, I'm like, I don't know if I could have five kids go through the mountains and then still still have my mind put together. Like I can't even take care of my dog. (laughs) 